Hello everyone, Click Hardwine here playing Pro Cycle Manager 2018. We are currently in a rest week, but we are gonna go into Ober Österreich Rundfahrt very soon. It's actually 14 days away, but uh, just gonna skip forward. I guess uh, a very interesting Ober Österreich Rundfahrt. Start off with the time trial, some hills, uh, a hilly stage. Some interesting climbs towards the end of the stage, then the flat stage, and then a hilly finish. Really looking forward to this, and I hope we will face some decent competition and have a good performance. And the day have come Ober Österreich Rundfahrt, first stage, 15.3 km long, time trial. Then it's hilly, and hopefully, we can make use of the climbs on this one. We are gonna need all the help we can get and also very rusty when it comes to time trials So this will be a big test for me to see if I am able to hang with the big guy even if we have a, a cyclist that is pretty darn bad when it comes to time trialing And we are ready to record here <laughs> ready to start uh, <laughs> I said record because I was going to say that I have uh, some new setups for, for recording, so uh, we will see how this turns out. I'm gonna go with 69 effort here, or it's not actually gonna go down quite a lot. Let's do 66 uh, and then go a little bit faster when it's uphill, like it's starting to become now, I guess. Only 2.0. Yeah, I, I have made some changes to, to the recording settings, the sound, volume, and uh, the quality of the video. Let's see if the quality of the video will stay good and if the sound will be good. So now it's downhill. Let's do 65 effort. Actually, maybe we need to do a little bit more than that. Let's do 69 effort because it looks like we are getting quite a lot of yellow bar. Uh, first time check. It's getting close and since we have so much yellow bar I am going to assume that we will be quite far behind <laughs> actually 51 seconds behind <laughs> wow I've probably been messing up quite a lot here riding way too slow let's do 80 effort from now on maybe even go 85 here for a little bit when it's uh, uphill 80 if uh, let's do just do 85 for the whole thing quite a decent climb here towards the end actually would be good if we could take advantage of that our yellow bar is uh, trying to catch the goal line bar you see we are catching up to Karstensen we are having a plus 3 day that is helping us quite a lot Actually thinking we might have been uh, going a little bit too fast So we are out of strength now With 500 meters left to go. That is a massive mistake I got overconfident It will be very interest interesting to see the time now. I'm thinking we might be in the top 20 but uh, that mistake towards the end cost us. We are in third place. We are in third place, 11 seconds behind, even with that massive mistake with the timing. Uh, hopefully, this means we will be in the top 10. And uh, fifth place, very good. But Thiago Machado, what a performance! Absolutely amazing. One minute and 11 seconds ahead of second place. But uh, fifth place is very good for us when it comes to time trials. Probably could have matched him if we had timed our strength better there towards the end. But uh, we're gonna take it anyway, fifth place. I'm super happy with that. Actually, the team wanted us to be in the top three on the stage. So fifth place, they are not really that happy with that. But we get four EXP points. Second stage, and we can see that we are actually the second favorite behind Machado, so it's going to be 
a good day for us, I hope. I hope we can live up to the expectations, but it's going to be tough to be defeat Machado. He is a very strong rider, at least compared to us. But uh, if we are going to win against him, it should be today. And it makes sense that the, the team wants us to be in third, in top three on the stage. And uh, actually I'm thinking maybe on the previous stage my, my goal was to be in top three for the final overall standings, not on the stage. So that might have been a mistake. Either way, the team is all out for us today and uh, we are going to need them. I guess especially Bradbury, because I think he is the best climber. No, actually it is a Bergström Frisk. His brother is usually the stronger climber, but today he's having a great day. He is uh, in a fitness peak as well as us. We are also in a fitness peak. So he's going to be a big help for us today from the looks of it. You can see that uh, Ludvigsson just came up to help us. And uh, we can ask uh, Bergström Frisk to come up and help us now because the climbing is starting. And uh, it's been a tough day for many riders. We have been fairly strong I think as you can see that the green bar have taken some damage 21 people went into the breakaway but uh, the final people just got caught I think there were seven people who managed to attack somewhere amongst the other two climbs here the, the smaller climbs and uh, two of them managed to hold out just before I started to record again uh, so I feel like we are in a strong position now we have a full yellow bar I feel like we should be able to hold on quite easily here in this climb we might be interested to set a little bit higher pace here towards the end of this climb maybe we could get a few mountain points that way I don't think we should be aiming for the mountain jersey here but if we can get mountain points, why should we not try and take them? Uh, downside of that is that we might need to use up uh, our helpers to be able to accomplish that. The pace looks rather slow now actually. We have uh, one kilometer left to the top of this climb. Monk try to go up. We are setting the pace. Uh, eight effort here for a little bit. See if we can shake off a few of the people in the group. Uh, we're gonna let our teammate take the points. We're gonna slow down. Uh, we need to make sure that we can get water up to us from one of our helpers in the downhill here. And then we should be set for the end of the race. I'm gonna get uh, back to you when the next climb starts because I feel like that is where the heat will happen. And I just fell. I just fell. We are not going to to win this Oberosterreich Rundfart. Bradbury was the only in my team that survived. Actually, 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 actually. Looks like all of the favorites fell. Uh, at least Machado, that's the important thing. Machado fell, so... They might let us catch them, the people in front of them. Or we might be able to catch them in the uphill when the climbing starts. Not sure where the other strong climbers are. Looked like... Uh, there are some people, at least the green jersey up there, that should be a strong climber, I think, because he came in the second place on the... On the first stage so the climbing is starting and we can see that they are chasing fast and uh, we are caught up with the others i need to try and follow my shadow here can i actually click him and uh, take position together with him i haven't really used this in uh, pro cyclist mode i think i think i didn't use it in uh, 2017 version of the game. See, we, have, we did lose position to Machado a little bit. 
but uh, this is the easier part of the climb we might be able to improve our position enough to move up with the top people here you see Machado is up there this is a furry for us and uh, I think we need to use a little bit of effort here to catch up with him and uh, get position close to him uh, when I click to take position it looks like he wanted to stay there in the peloton and not, not move up so there we are, we are at the front of this group again we are not setting the pace anymore just making sure that you are in a good position 32 people in this group and we have uh, just about 2 kilometers left to go, let's go with 1.9 kilometers we st started to accelerate and, uh, let's see if this will lead to anything, I think we are actually going to attack I think we will have enough strength to make it to the top and we're getting a small lead on the others 300 meters left to go to the top here we're gonna use the effort for the last bit uh, let's look at the top here it should be downhill yes there we are and in the downhill I should start to recover a little bit uh, we have 35 seconds or something like that to the peloton six people are chasing us in that group but there is one behind us one is right behind us and that is shelling he is behind us in the general classification as well so this is a strong position for us with 15 kilometers left to go these flat parts are a bit of a worry for me but uh, we are strong on the flat we have made sure that our rider is strong when it comes to flat riding as well he has 67 skill there no that's that's someone else we have 63 skill there, I thought that's super high uh, we have 63 but plus 1 for today uh, because of the race day conditioning sorry for the mess up uh, 10 kilometers left to go, 89 effort, oh no 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 85, 85 effort is too fast on the on the flat here, we are being caught by uh, shelling but we have 40 seconds to the others can we let the shelling set the pace here for a little bit recover a little bit behind him 7 kilometers left to go we're gonna wait with the energy gel because it's uphill towards the end we can use it a little bit later 30 seconds still on the people behind us we're gonna up our effort to 89 uh, let's use the energy gel now we are at 90 effort but that's fine too 4 kilometers left to go we are holding positions behind them we need to go 87 effort we're gonna see if we can pace away from the others because they are trying to catch us how close are we to the, the climb <sighs> I don't think we're gonna make it we need to try our best you have 10 seconds or they're about to the others behind us they're trying to set the pace here it's going to be between us and Shelley one kilometer left to go we do not have the strength to follow him we do not have the strength we are gonna die here in the climb and they are going to catch us this is not going well for us but we are still ahead of Machado so we will gain time on Machado but other people are able to pass us we went a little bit too fast a little bit too soon that was a big mistake because the climb was super difficult but fifth place on the stage day same as on the previous one And uh, I feel like we should be able to improve our position in the uh, in the general classification, in the overall standings. Even if uh, some people might be able to pass us that finished ahead of us today. And the times are interesting. I see that you managed to get the same time as the third place. Daniel Whitehouse, 21 seconds behind. And Machado is more than a minute behind us and in the general classification oh it's tight it's super tight now 
Celano, who won the stage, is in third place. Machado is six seconds behind him. White House and us we are at the same time. Nine seconds behind Celano. Wow, that is interesting. But in second place for the uh, sprint jersey, mountain jersey, we managed to take that one actually. Um, maybe it was a mistake to let uh, Bergström Frisk get uh, the win in that one climb because we had the same points as Wild Hour. And the youth jersey, we are just behind White House. Same time, but he is ahead of us, and our team is in fifth place. A good start to this Ober Osterreich Rundfahrt. Let's look what uh, the team thought of our performance. They are not super impressed yet. They would have liked uh, us to perform better for the, the final standings, the overall standings, but seven EXP points. I guess that is at least something. But we have two more stages that we can prove ourselves in. Third stage is starting with a big downhill. But um, it's going to be a sprint finish today, right? at least from what I can tell. Flat finish. We do not have any special race objective for today. Just hold on, be strong. We are having a plus three day, a bit of a waste on a stage like this, perhaps. But. Um, uh, hopefully we can have a plus three day tomorrow as well because I think it is a hilly stage on the last uh, stage of this uh, Ober Osterreich Rundfahrt. And uh, it's a uh, early fall, a very early fall on the stage. We are... How much is that? Uh, a little bit more than a minute behind the peloton, but we can see that we can see the end of the peloton. At least I think that is what we can see up here. Yes, it should be. So it shouldn't be a problem. We are two minutes behind, actually. No, we are actually a little more than a minute behind the peloton. Uh, even if it looks like the peloton is going faster than us at the moment. So this could have an impact on the race, but uh, I don't I think it should. I think we should be fine. And uh, we did make it back together with everyone else. We are back in the main peloton. Um, looks like they're riding rather fast, but I feel like we're gonna stay with, eight, uh, with 70 effort here. We want to have time to recover. And uh, the breakaway is still out there. They should be able to pull away now when we get into this kind of terrain. But I guess that might depend on uh, what kind of riders are out there. I haven't really checked. I don't think it really matters. Uh, I will get back to you later on and if something happens or for the final sprint. 14 kilometers left to go. Uh, you can see that the peloton have just split. It have done that. A few times here on the flat, so it must have been tough paced, but I guess they will catch us quite soon. Breakaway is still out there, they have 3 minutes, meaning they will hold today. It's going to be a breakaway victory. Tough for us, because it's going to be tougher for us to get points for the sprint jersey today. Would have liked to try and go for that. But we um, can still get a few points if we are lucky here in the sprint. So just trying to make sure that you have a decent position, waiting for when we're gonna use the energy gel. We do that now. A lot of different uh, groups are trying to form here up front to set the pace. Celano, the yellow jersey is up there as well. 2.6 kilometers left to go. We are trying to improve our position with the help of Ludvigsson. Two kilometers and they are up in front of this group. Uh, we're gonna start the sprint with one kilometer left to go. There we go. 
see that a lot of strong sprinters are trying to get points as well. But we are actually able to beat them today. Maybe we should get 8th place. And a good number of sprint points. That is a massive surprise to me actually. A strong performance I guess in the sprint. We can't be unhappy with that. And uh, put us ahead of White House now in 3rd place. But we have the same time, not sure why they do that. Uh, sprint jersey, we managed to take it, at least uh, for now. And uh, nothing changed in uh, the mountain jersey. Uh, not really sure what, uh, how many points they got out there today. I guess uh, it was uh, Hatanaka that might have taken the points. Yes. Uh, and under 25, we actually moved past Daniel Whitehouse there as well. Not sure how they decide that. Uh, our team is still in fifth place. <coughs> My voice is breaking. Uh, so one stage left to go. We are nine seconds behind Celano. Can we can we go for a victory here on the last stage, or at least pass uh, move past uh, Celano and Machado? That will be interesting. And it is the top four people in uh, Oberösterreich, <laughs> Ober Österreich Rundfart that are tipped to be the top people today as well. We are number one, then White House, Celano, Machado. Celano, White House, I, I still feel like Machado should be the biggest hurdle, but I guess the form is strong with White House and Celano as well. So we will see what happens today. Should we go for the same tactics as on the preview, uh, on stage two? Where we attacked in the final climb and then tried to hold out in the downhill and flat. Then, uh, yeah, we, we, we're gonna see if we can do that today. It would be good. So, stage four, and we can see that the fall on the previous stage have caused us to get an injury. Big worry, of course. Can we still perform even with an injury? Then, it haven't affected our fitness or anything, I'm not, but our race day conditioning is at zero, so I guess the, the race day conditioning have been at least uh, affected. Maybe have, we should have had a plus one or plus two if we haven't been injured. At least that is my guess. Um, the goal for today, of course we need to have a look at that. Top 3 on the stage, top 3 in the general classification. It might be tough, but we need to try and go for it. Uh, let's look more closer on the climbs. Uh, I wish the, the tougher climbs, maybe these two climbs, would have been the last ones, but uh, the last climbs look uh, a little bit too easy to really be in our favor. Not sure how to play that, but uh, we're gonna see what happens, I guess. I will get back to you later on in the stage. And uh, hopefully we will not fall again today. That would be a disaster. 21 kilometers left to go on the stage. Um, it's a tough one. You see there are only 33 people left. Uh, I have made sure that I got a few mountain points. Just to make sure that uh, no one could steal the mountain jersey from us. It was actually Celano, the yellow jersey that uh, got closest. He is actually tied for second place on 30 points. But uh, I was a bit scared he would try to do something. So I made sure to get a few points. I think we also got a few sprint points. Um, I think we came in second place just by chance, by uh, with the sprint points here in the middle of the mountains. Just sort of happened. Let's see, it looks like he's, he's trying to set the pace there. Uh, let's see if we can attack. This is our final chance to win this uh, event here in Ober Österreich. Took 17 seconds, quite fast gonna continue up to the mountain points. I'm gonna guess that someone will try and follow us. It's going to be Figueredo. That will be 
hit the first one to try and close the gap. We can see it's Celano pacing the peloton. We have 20 seconds on the peloton. Ben Figueredo is able to catch us, but they are able to close it super fast here towards the end. It was a decent attempt, but uh, we're gonna give up for now. 12 kilometers left to go. Figueredo is attacking. Where is he in the general classification? He is 1 minute and 46 seconds behind. And we also see that uh, the yellow jersey is trying to attack. Should I close that gap in the downhill? I need to try. I need to try. Need, <laughs> I need to try and close that gap. Oh, it's going to be tough, but I think I'm gonna make it. Please. Please, 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 please. Uh, use the energy gel. Should have used it a little bit earlier because it is some downhill. Five kilometers left to go. We have ten people in this group again. And make sure that I am at 90 effort. Like Solano is eager to win this, I need to counter his sprint. One kilometer left to go, we are flashing past them. Can we win this stage? It's going to be a close one, but we run out of strength. So close to the line, that was unnecessary. We are getting fourth place, I guess. Yes, but it's not really enough. It's not really enough, it's Figueredo who wins the stage. If there are bonus seconds on this stage, I'm going to kill myself. I should have won that. Uh, it was way too early to start the sprint, but I saw Celano go, and uh, you can see Celano came in 10th place because he he probably did that way too early, but he caused us to do it way too early as well. So good job, Celano. So the end of uh, Open Österreich Rundfart. Feel like we did okay, should be third place, yes. Uh, White House lost. No, we actually gained a few seconds because of the that sp uh, sprint in the middle of the stage, I guess, that we accidentally came in second place. Um, can't really tell if there are any bonus seconds. Can't really figure out how to check. If uh, they gained any bonus seconds, even uh, sprint jersey, we managed to win that one. Uh, mountain jersey, we also won that one. Youth jersey, we won it. So we get three jerseys away from this, but uh, I feel a bit sad about the third place in the in the general classification here because uh, we made a few we made a mistake on uh, on the first stage and uh, we made a mistake on the second stage. So we could have done a lot better, we have still have a lot to learn on how to race, especially on uh, extreme difficulty. But uh, we should still get rewarded with some EXP here. 64 EXP, third place overall and uh, all of the uses. So that's good. Let's see that we have an injury now. Can we check the injury somewhere? Trainer? Uh, team maybe injuries I'm only it does not feel well it might not be an, an injury it might be a sickness I guess um, can't really tell the difference in the game um, Ober, Ober Österreich Rundfart is over it is a race that I think we had a lot of successful uh, tours in uh, when we played the uh, Pro Cycle Manager 2017, I think it was the race that we won every season, but uh, this time around we are not really strong enough, or maybe it was me who wasn't strong enough. Either way, uh, until next time, I'm Kille Kaudewein, thank you all for watching.